Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jacqueline and in today's video, it is another episode of Will I Buy It? This series was inspired by the beautiful Samantha March here in YouTube. She's the one who created these type of videos where it basically it's a way to go over the new makeup releases or everything about beauty and kind of like brought us into sense of like should we really get it? Do we really need it? And just personal opinion and it just opens the communication between you guys, myself, and just kind of like give some thoughts of what is, again, really needed, really exciting, and what items should be a little bit of like, yeah, maybe a pass and less weight. And before I get started, I hope that you will consider to subscribe to my channel and ring the post notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. Also, come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know more about the new makeup releases and everything about beauty, then just keep on watching. Already, I'm getting a little bit closer right here. And I think the first page that I will be jumping to is Trend Mood. And they just announced First A Beauty is coming with a weightless liquid mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide SPF 30, broader spectrum. Honestly, even on the swatch, it seems like it has a little bit of a tint, but then it goes kind of clear, which I'm very interested to. I'm all about my sunscreen because this girl right here has mature skin. And the best thing to do for your skin is to wear your SPF. Okay, so he says right here, UVA, UVB, rays absorb protection, ultra light formula, yeah, invisible, non-greasy finish, fantastic. I mean, right now, spring is coming, summertime is gonna come, and it seems like this could be a good one, oil-free and non-comedogenic. That's fantastic. It's, oh, it is available now on First A Beauty's website, and the cost is $34. Okay. Um, I already have a good amount of SPF back on a stock, quote unquote, in my cabinet. <laughs> so I think for right now, I'm not gonna purchase it, but definitely it will be on my list. I would love to try it. Maybe it will come to Sephora. It doesn't say anything about it, but maybe Sephora or Ulta, and I would love to just try it, feel it on my hands, see how is the finish, and all that jazz. So I'm interesting, and then the price. Um, well, for a mineral SPF, it's right there. <laughs> Usually a mineral SPF, I use Elton D. That costs between $28, $29. These are $5 more. Again, I will just have to see the finish. It's something that is a maybe. I'm moving on right now to a makeup item. This is by NARS, and they are bringing a summer collection of but it seems like two matte bronzers. They look beautiful, and honestly, from the pictures, they don't look very matte. They look kind of like, they don't have a shimmer, but they look like they have a little bit of dimension, which I hope that's the case, because I like, I don't like my bronzers to be completely matte. I like, I don't like any glitter, obviously, on my face, but I like something that, I mean, that just have a little bit of a something something, <laughs> so it makes my skin glow, and these looks, very promising. There's also an Orgasm X blush that looks really nice, kind of like orangey undertone, kind of that Sankey's look. Mm, temptation is real right here. Okay, these ones may, it will be a maybe, or a yes, or a maybe. I don't know, that Orgasm X blush, I think that's calling my name. They will be available at Sephora between April and May. They will keep us posted. There's no additional information about pricing or anything else like that, but I'm curious about it. Okay, and next item is from MAC. So MAC has been in a role to creating really beautiful products lately. I, what I, what I have reviewed from them. Okay, the MAC blushes, amazing, by the way. Go check out my review, fantastic stuff. And then this right here too is a finishing powder. So they are having a round two collaborating with Selena Official. So MAC and Selena, and look at this beautiful, is this a highlighter? Rose embellished extra dimension skin finish. Oh, okay, so it's one of these, a skin finish. So you can use it as 
a very subtle highlighter or you can use it all over the face and that's why it's called a skin finish okay the color is really kind of like in the deeper tone which i'm really happy about i would love to see if they are planning to do maybe two different ones two different shades that would be nice but hey you know summer is coming and i think this color is beautiful and the embossing of the rose is just incredible it's just so so beautiful it will be available in april we don't know the day yet but these will fly out of the window i know that on this one i will say yes i really want it with all my heart so <sighs> next item our friends color pop i mean they never stop and they are collaborating right now with disney once again for mulan so we know that mulan the new movie is coming out and they just reveal a full collection so it comes an eyeshadow palette for 22 dollars velvet liquid lipstick in a strong she for nine dollars looks cream lipstick in hua mulan for nine dollars a looks gloss in phoenix for nine dollars and then the, they will have a lip bundle for 25 dollars also two blushes ten dollars each good luck charm and matchmaker I love the name Matchmaker. I mean, who hasn't watched Mulan? I have watched it many times. I have children. My two oldest ones, they are teenagers, and I watch Mulan like a thousand times with them. And with a fourth Ray Beauty line, they are coming with a face and lip bundle for $16. And it includes a Jasmine Tea Face Milk, as well as a Gold Lip Mask. The full collection will be $78. It's going to be available on March 19th. Okay, I like Colourpop and I like Mulan, but honestly, I don't think I need this collection. I, I think it's beautiful. I think it's really, really beautiful. I wish that the eyeshadow palette will have a mirror though. You know what? Kind of like give me a little bit of like Tati's Beauty vibe on the eyeshadow palette. I don't know if it's just me, my impression, or... Let me know what you think. I don't know. It's just give me that little impression. Not, not in the sense of like the way that it's organized, but just the color story. I don't know. It just give me that vibe. So I will. It, it will be just a pass for me. But nonetheless, it's a gorgeous collection. Okay. And now jumping into another Instagram account that I love is Chic Profile Official. She has sneak peek the new Tom Ford lipsticks with a powder texture. They are coming soon. We don't know the date, but it's a 2020 release. And this kind of like reminds me of the texture of the new Hermes lipsticks that I just reviewed, the matte ones. Ah, so uh, I don't know, that makes me excited right there because the new Hermes lipsticks, both the satin and the mattes are beautiful. The matte really impressed me like no other. And if Tom Ford is coming out with a formula like that, the colors, they look pretty. They seem to be a lot more shades. They are not all in these pictures that I'm able to see here. Ah, but I see this very kind of magenta type of shade. That's beautiful. I would love to see if they have like an orangey one, but hey, little sneak peeks. The pricing, we all know, I guess by now, they usually are like $55 per lipstick along those lines. And then from another account called O Angel, Jimmy Choo. Oh, well, most fashion houses, they are coming out right now with their beauty line and Jimmy Choo is coming out with a seduction makeup collection in spring 2020 it includes some oh, stunning lipsticks I mean can you see can you see the packaging is just amazing and then the colors the colors are so so good there's that red kind of like blue red oh phew. I'm very excited about it and then some nail polishes the nail polishes look amazing too so let's see right here what is this doesn't say the date it's just a spring 2020 collection so we just have to keep our eyes peeled for this and they will be what it seems like 35 euros and then the lipsticks will be 50 euros and they come in 10 different shades 
I paint my own nails, so I may grab one of the nail polishes, but on the lipsticks, at least I will get one or two, if all possible, but yes, I'm excited for these lunch right here. And then going back to MAC, well, MAC has collaborated with different influencers around the world. Hindash is one of them, and if you don't know, I love Hindash. I follow him, I mean, he's a makeup artist that is unbelievable. His accuracy is just so amazing, so realistic too, and very flattering for, I mean, any, any age, I think, any age, because it's just, it's just very beautiful, very elegant, his style. Anyhow, he has this beautiful lipstick. I don't know if it's coming here to the United States. I heard mixed things between the 20th of March I don't know. I don't know. We just have to keep like checking in. But basically, the lipstick that he created is a lipstick that you can just tap it in and it will create this just kind of like a very nice wash of color just to make your lips look very healthy. Or you can go full on strength for a very deep kind of reddish color. And a big influencer obviously is Barbie. And if you don't know, I'm a fan of Barbie. I grew up with Barbies and that was my doll, my perfect doll and I cannot hide it. I already got it. <laughs> yes, I have got the Barbie and Mac lipstick coloration. So, so beautiful. Okay, and next is this yard. They have come out with this beautiful Petite Pro Shoo Shoo palette. Oh, it looks so beautiful. It has eight different shades and it's a mini palette. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. But VCR eyeshadows, they are wonderful. They are really good. It costs $30. It seems like it's available right now or maybe coming up soon. Oh, available now. So I, 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 I'm really tempted to get it because those shades are beautiful. And this palette was inspired by the coastal villages in south of France where blooming bougainvilleas, oh, bougainvilleas are my, one of my favorite flowers. Yes, and I can tell the sandy beaches. <sighs> this just looks so beautiful. And in fact, I watched today morning my friend here, Michelle Wan, she did a review on this palette and she created the most beautiful pink look. I mean, she has her facial structure is just so pretty. She's Asian and I don't know it just looks so uh, so so beautiful so I will recommend go and check her out so I don't know I watch her and I'm tempted and it just looks so magical and the good thing about these palettes if you don't know is that you can go ahead and pop up all of the shades and create your own palette so there's that convenience to travel they are tiny like these like little you know like business cards next it is another eyeshadow palette revealed by Mel Cosmetics and it's called the Ross eyeshadow palette okay I like the color story but to be honest with you this palette really recalls to me a little bit more of like a fall type of palette you know autumn type of palette and it's just not vibing for me maybe i mean if it comes to stores i will be able to swatch it see how you know the pigmentation and everything is i mean we know mel cosmetics you know their eyeshadow formula is really good but the last eyeshadow palette that they had i think what was it called it was millennial pink a lot of people were very disappointed about it and this one like i said I think I have to see it in person. I mean, it, I think it can bring the, the warmth and all of that with those master shades right there and the rust shade. Although pretty, but really feels more of a fall palette. So, uh, no, I think, I think I'm going to pass and I'm just going to wait. I'm sure it will come later on to Sephora. It doesn't say when it's going to be launching, but it also reminds me a little bit of an Urban Decay palette. Mm the reloaded one yeah but no i will pass on that i will pass on that <laughs> i will be good oh and this is really exciting for me samantha march and ofra cosmetics round two they are collaborating again oh this makes me super happy for my girl samantha 
I have her highlighter, <laughs> her first collaboration, and I'm so happy because they give her right now again another opportunity. So they are coming out again with the same highlighter. So it's a split pan and it has basically two sides. They are Star Island and two sides are Pillow Talk. Costs $35 and then this is what it gets me super excited. A cheap lit blush duo for $35 and includes a matte pink nude and then also a shimmer warm deep rose. So you have that combination so you can swirl it and make your own shade right there. Mm, this sounds good. And then River Bronzer Duo for $35. Again, same thing. One side is matte with a light neutral mocha and the other side has a shimmer warm copper. And then also it includes a lip duo for $27 with the shades of Story, which is a mocha nude mauve, matte liquid lipstick, and then Neely, which is a pearl iridescent shimmer gloss. I mean, she's giving us the best of all, both worlds. A little bit of matte, a little bit of shimmer, so we can make our own combinations and work it in different ways the way we like it. I think this is a beautiful collaboration and it will be available on March 16 for pre-sale of PR boxes. That's fantastic. And then March 20th at 10 a.m. it will be available online at Ofra Cosmetics. Oh, I want to support my girl Samantha March. I really like her. She's a sweetheart. She has worked really hard and she really has brought so much good to this community that I, I have to grab at least a couple items from these, a couple items, even if it's like the bronzer or maybe the bronzer and the blush and maybe the lip gloss, oh my goodness. But the lip gloss, it comes in a duo. <laughs> but I, I will end up purchasing at least two things from this collection. I have to, I have to, not only for because supporting a Samantha, but because honestly, I mean, if you take a look at the products, they are really well curated. So kuda Samantha, congratulations. You did amazing girl, amazing. And here's another very exciting lunch. It's like Fenty Beauty, yay. She's coming with some cream bronzers and cream blushes. Now she has her cream matcha sticks, you know, the ones on the stick. And honestly, I have a few. They are good, but they are not so emollient. So it's not that they are hard to blend, but they are not my favorite formula. But these right here, I don't know. These right here look a little bit different and makes me really excited. I'm excited to grab at least one of the bronzers. And as far as the blushes goes, ooh, there are so many to choose from. They are all so beautiful. I'm very intrigued about Daiquiri Deep, Strawberry Drip, and I'm also intrigued by perhaps Rose Latte and definitely Fuego Flush. Ah, oh, ah, this is, this is getting me in trouble getting me really in trouble but they look so good so good and you know what the prices are so reasonable I mean thank you thank you these prices are so reasonable so basically the Cheeks Out Free Style Cream Blushes they are $20 each I mean that's that's really good I mean if we see it on the perspective that the drugstore makeup has been going up and some stuff they are already in the twenty dollars i think this is very reasonable and then the bronzers 32 i think that's so reasonable too i mean don't don't you think i mean that's my personal opinion for this lunch i'm excited and i'm happy that they are pushing it until april 17th oh thank god <laughs> because that will give me a little bit of time to save a little bit of money and then do my purchases you know in like a little bit of like little by little Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, this, sorry. I'm just excited about it. And talking now about more blushes, Jouer. I love Jouer. If you have never tried the duos from Jouer, they are wonderful. The bronzers, the blushes, they are great. And they had come out with two different ones. They are available right now. And there are two blush bouquets. One in Passion, which has the shades Cherish Me, which is a warm matte burnt amber and Treasure Me, which is a warm shimmering bronze tangerine. That's the one that kind of like gets me because the other one is Darling and it has two shades, Embrace Me and Love Me. Embrace Me is kind of like a warm satin toast and Love Me is a warm satin peach pink. 
looks pretty but honestly thinking about the summertime I don't know why I mean it perhaps may be too dark for me but passion is the one that is I don't know why but it's getting my attention and the price again fairly reasonable $30 they're also coming with a hydrating lip oil for $18 and it has apricot oil, jojoba, seed oil, vitamin E. I will pass on that but I'm very tentative about the blush. It's a baby right there from Patrick Ta. He has to reveal a tinted shaping wax for the brows in translucent and tinted. It makes sense right here that the description. Okay so one is translucent and one is a tinted. So it's basically kind of that concept of the soap for your brows. Now I have a lot of very bushy eyebrows. I have never used this product, but it's, you know, it's like kind of tempting me right there, like going like, you know, come here, <laughs> get me. So I don't know. I don't know. This is a maybe it's coming soon. It will be available at Sephora. We don't have the date. $22 is not that bad. My only thing right here is that at least from the promo pictures it only shows one shade of the tinted one and then the translucent so i wish that at least there will be like maybe four type of five of different shades for the ones that they are tinted and we don't know we don't know i mean these are kind of like a sneak peeks so this is a maybe i don't know that i need it and i think that's where you know i kind of like have to a step back sometimes it's like okay what is really a need and what is really a just I want it you know what I mean so that's that's why I said that's a maybe for me here we go KKW Beauty she is coming out with the classic two so I have her classic one palette right here is a really nice palette perhaps shades that we already have but honestly, I like KKW Beauty eyeshadows. They are a good formulation. I have reviewed tons of her products and they never steer me wrong. I like them and I like her eyeshadow formula. It's going to be $45, 10 shades. And, you know, she has to stay with her essence. I mean, and I think that can be the success of a brand. Sometimes if a brand starts to be like, okay, let's go for this trend and then let's go for this trend and never finds like an identity, then it doesn't connect with their clients. And I think she just connected with her clients. So you have to be that person that likes neutral eyeshadows. If you don't, then KKW Beauty is not for you. I personally really like those type of eyeshadows. So yes, I think I'm gonna get it. So when is gonna be available? March 20, so okay, so kind of like a week from now at noon at KKW Beauty. The only thing with KKW Beauty that I have to say is oh, the cheaping fee. That's the only thing that bothers me. Now they are carry at Ulta, but it doesn't say if this will be coming to Ulta anytime soon or if it will be at a later date. It would be really nice if it's both ways because honestly, that's the only thing about KKW Beauty, the, the cheaping. I mean, you can buy like I don't, I don't even think she has like a minimum and then it becomes free. I don't remember, but I, I'm interested in the Classic 2 eyeshadow palette, $45. And also with this collection will come 11 nude glosses. Now the packaging looks a little bit different than her current glosses, the ones in the line. They seem a little bit like larger or maybe it's just my impression. But there's various ones. They look beautiful. I mean... I don't know if I need more glosses or not. Perhaps I will get one just to give it a go. I like the number 1.5 light peachy nude. That looks very pretty. Okay, so $20 a pop. The full collection will be available for $240. And then the classic palette duo. What that means duo? Oh, okay, the two palettes basically will be available for $85. And then lip duos for $32. And another thing that is Getting my attention right here is this new Stila Double Deep Suede Shade and Glitter Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. Okay, so they had a big failure with the, I don't know if you remember that kind of like marble type of liquid eyeshadows. They were like completely past. But these right here are kind of like, kind of like taking that idea from Huda Beauty to have a matte on one side and then a glitter or shimmer shade. And I think this is a great thing because, I mean, who did this beautiful 
glitter and shimmer shadows was still uh, they have a great formulation and I mean why to change it and bring in something new the matte ones why not they are gonna be $24 each and they have 12 different type of shades now the shades some of them are really bold and adventurous there's only like perhaps one or two that are kind of like quote unquote wearable for those who love the neutral tones but hey if you're a person that absolutely loves very colorful eyeshadows and you know like rainbowy i mean there's there's a little a little bit for everyone although it's exciting i think i will wait i would just give it a little bit of you know a wait and kind of you know come and take a look at the stores when they come because they are available right now at their website okay and then what else right here we have Sigma Beauty is coming out with a stunning new eyeshadow palette. It's called Cor de Rosa and it includes 14 shades, mix of mattes and shimmers, and it's a deep peach nude. Okay, I don't know if the picture is truly giving it justice to this eyeshadow palette because if it's a deep peach, then I will be all about it. But if it looks as orange as it looks right here on this on this picture, it looks too like pumpkin <laughs> then I will kind of like steer away from it so this right here is a maybe if it's a true kind of like more peach and not so so much of a orange then I will say yes and this is another thing this one I'm kind of like in yeah, maybe yes maybe yes because it kind of reminds me you remember the Urban Decay Honey palette we need when Everybody was looking at their sneak peeks and the pictures. Everybody was like, oh no, this is not good. This is not anything about honey. This is nothing special. Hey, I got it. I reviewed it and it's one of my favorite neutral palettes. I mean, it has a very strong yellow golden undertone, but it's just so beautiful. I mean, like summer is coming and I'm sure that's the palette that I will be like having here. Very handy for me to use. So I don't know, I'm curious about it. April 14th will be available at Sigma Beauty. And let's see, does he say the price? Uh, it doesn't say the price, but I think their last palette was $45, $48, something like that. But what's going on with <laughs> between Mel Cosmetics and then Sigma, we throw in these pictures that they look really like fall. I know summer is coming and you think about this warmth weather, but I don't know. This, they are just throwing me off. Okay, don't listen to me. Okay, and next, talking about more eyeshadows, our darling Charlotte Tilbury, she has come out with four different luxury quads that they are a new collection. So basically they are called the Eye Color Magic. And they are supposed to each quad kind of like make your eye color pop. So if you have green eyes, you can use the mesmerizing maroon, if you have brown eyes, you can use the super blue and so forth. So there are four different ones. And if you're new to my channel and you're interested about these palettes, I have already done a review for them. I actually posted on Friday, this last Friday. So I have right here one. I made a review for all of them. So go and check it out <laughs> if you're interested. And if you want to know more about it, I also review on that video the eyeliners so the collection also includes these kind of matching double-ended eyeliners one side is a matte side and then the other one is a metallic and yeah so i had obviously purchased all of them i'm a big fan of charlotte tilbury but i'm very honest too at saying whether something is good or not so if you are interested and you want to know the true tea right there check out my video and also in that video i created four different looks with each of the palettes and in fact right now I'm wearing one of them I'm wearing this one right here the mesmerizing maroon so that's what you see on my eyes today anyhow so each of these luxury palettes are $53 which is the typical price then the liner duos they are $30 and then there's also the Feline flicks liquid eyeliner pants $30 each comes in black and brown so they yes they are available right now at Charlotte Tilbury's website so that's that I don't want to give you too much tea right there so you can check out my video <laughs>
<laughs> okay. And then Anastasia Beverly Hills has brought back in a stock a collaboration between Nicole Guerriero. I watch her, I like her. And it's a Nicole Low Kit. Okay, so this was launched a few years ago, if I don't mistaken, and it was a big hit and one not is a, a palette full of highlighters. It's all highlighters for $40. Okay, I have heard the greatest things about this highlighter palette. I mean, a lot of people rave about it for a long, long time, but nowadays having an, a palette just with highlighters, I don't think is what I need. I think if I was going to go for a face palette, most likely I will be leaning towards something that has bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. That's just me. So although I'm intrigued, I'm curious, and it's something that I know that when it went out of the stock, everybody was like, oh, bring it back, bring it back. But right now in this stage, I think I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I need it. It's beautiful though. And you know what? Talking about these, these kind of like, I don't know, it makes me feel that perhaps Anastasia Beverly Hills, she may be bringing back Anastasia and Ambrisi highlighter. And that would be such a great one because I do have backups of it. But for example, I would like to buy maybe a couple more and give them away to, you know, dear friends of mine. But on this particular palette, I will skip on it. And still talking about Anastasia Beverly Hills, she has come out with a new mascara and it's called the Lash Brag. Okay, for $25. And she also has a mini, which I think is great. The mini is $13. Mascaras, they go bad so soon. And if you're the person that don't use it very often, sometimes going with a mini is a great, you know, way to try some mascaras and not get stuck with this big tube and then going to waste. It's going to be available on March 14th at Sephora and Ulta. Now, a lot of people said that she copied Fenty Beauty. And I understand why, but listen, I mean, these type of products and any type of products, they are not whip overnight and they cannot be done unless you're like a brand like Colourpop that everything is done in-house, they have their own laboratories, they do their own packaging, but these big brands, they outsource things. They have the packaging from one place, then they do their formulation in another type of lab, and then they, I mean, like, it, it's a whole process. Mostly Anastasia Beverly Hills that is sold in so many places around the world. So, I don't think this is like a copy. I mean, I, no. I mean, that it looks similar, it looks similar, but I mean, who wants that ombre type of color? And it's not exactly the same. Now, a lot of people also say, well, she copied the Better Than Sex mascara too because of the wand. Yes, an hourglass wand, and it could be something like that, but again, I mean, like being exact dupe, I don't think so. We put out that fast, but if I will purchase it, I don't need more mascaras. I have a ton. So, nope. There'll be no way. No. And no go. Ooh. Okay, I thought that was the last one. But here, <laughs> for Sally, is bringing us more gold flakes to our life. Okay, so it's they are expanding the line with a rose gold elixir moisturizing gel cream. Okay, that's interesting. It's a new weightless gel cream that instantly adds hydration to the skin while keeping it supple and leaving a naturally shine-free glow. Okay, and it's formulated with rose hip seed oil, 24K gold, and hyaluronic acid. Okay, well, $39, I don't need another moisturizer. I, it will be fun, though, to try it. I mean, I actually like to use this right here, the first Sally Liquid Gold. A liquid gold, liquid glass, and then they are setting a spray too. It's coming on March 23rd, but and also it's not that gold on skincare, it's not the greatest, so looks pretty dope. But I don't, I don't know, I don't think I will purchase it. Okay, and I promise that this is the last one right here. This is by the brand Benefit, and they are coming out with a Hello Happy Air Stick Foundation in 12 different shades. Come on. You know, instead of doing these foundations, and Benefit is not very adventurous. I mean, they keep the same blushes, the hula one, and the, the same thing, you know, and then the brows, which they are, is what they are known for and very great for. So what about instead of doing these beautiful packaging, they could have done like, say, 
blushes on a stick and bronzers on a stick a benefit if you're listening to me that's what you should have done because coming with 12 shades do six shades of bronzers six shades of blushes and there you go it would be something more exciting than bringing just 12 shades of stick foundations packaging is pretty but no sorry it's it's a plus for me okay my friends and i think this is it for this video i hope that you really enjoy it that you found it interesting very informative i would love for you to become oh i have a little visit right here is my daughter so anyhow friends i hope that you stay safe thank you so so much for watching and i hope that you will take the opportunity to subscribe to my channel also it would be lovely if you can follow the smaller youtubers they really need some support nowadays i think we are a big community we are greater than everything that our country is going through and worldwide so yeah let's just give us a little bit of love and support and i will again love for you to subscribe to my channel do not forget to ring that post notification bell so you get to know whenever i upload a new video <laughs> and follow me on my instagram until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye-bye!